Hi guys, real quick video here. Haven't done one in a while and I've got some new knives, so I thought I would do a video on them. Um, this is the blue and black elephant toenail from Rough Rider. Uh, made in China, stainless steel blades, uh, blue bone handles, black liner. Um, it's a nice knife. Uh, has a modified uh, cleaver type main blade and a Warncliffe secondary blade. I wish they would have stuck with a more traditional secondary blade, but you know, the the Warncliffe has a nice appeal to it, I guess. Overall fit and finish is really good. Um, very, very sharp out of the box. Uh, my only issue with this, which is my issue with all Rough Rider fixed blades, larger fixed blades, is the back springs are a little weak. But beyond that, it's a great little knife, and uh, I really like it. Okay, second knife is also a Rough Rider. It's a fixed blade. Um, I'm not really sure what they called this one. I think it was like a Tanto Skinner or something like that. Uh, cool design. Uh, fits in the hand really well. Uh, this is a Pakistani-made knife, which, um, unfortunately, the quality control of knives coming out of Pakistan have nev has never been great. And uh, I wish that if Rough Rider was going to have knives made in Pakistan, that they would oversee the quality control a little bit better. But this is pretty much a bulletproof design. Nothing's going to, you know, really go wrong with it. Came very sharp out of the box. Uh, my main issue with this one was the, sh the sheath. Um, the sheath was is poorly designed. Um, it has a belt loop that won't fit over any belt that I know of. And it wasn't really designed for this knife. It took a lot of stretching and and uh, and working with that the sheath to get the blade to go in like it's supposed to. Um, but it works now. I carry it in my pocket, so it's not a big deal. Fit and finish actually is pretty decent on this one. Uh, one issue is the grinds aren't even. But uh, other than that, for the price, not a bad knife. And I got it as a gift. I love it. So... Okay, and the third, also Rough Rider, fixed blade, again, made in Pakistan. Um, I think they call this a mosaic handle buoy or parquet handle buoy. Uh, it's a cool looking knife. Is it functional? No, not really. I'm very concerned that the pieces of wood are going to start coming out. Um, the fit and finish isn't great. You can see the transition between the, the various pieces of wood. You can feel the transitions. Has a very slick varnish on it, so it's very hard to get a good grip on it. Um, the blade isn't bad. Uh, there's a bit of a gap between the the shoulders of the blade and the guard, though. Uh, it does have a peen pommel, uh, which is kind of different for this type of knife, uh, or at least this price range of knife. Came with a okay scabbard uh, or sheath. I'm sorry. Uh, leather's a little thin, but it'll do the job. And since this is basically going to be a shelf knife, it's really not a work knife. I'm not going to take this out and do anything with it. It's going to sit on the shelf and look pretty. So anyway, those are my three knives today. I like them all. Um, I got them as for gifts for Christmas. And um, each has its own purpose. Uh, probably my favorite is this one. Uh, it fits in the pocket really well. Nice pocket knife and uh, good quality. The fit and finish is really good on this one. Like I said, I just wish they put a little bit stouter back spring on it. Um, this one I carry in my po in my uh, side pocket of my pants. Also, nice little knife. Um, pretty bulletproof design. Not much that's going to go wrong with it. Fits the hand well. And uh, that's it. Uh, great, great Christmas present overall. Uh, great Christmas overall. So um, thanks for watching and have a good day.